one of the cheekiest ways that the bigot or the sectarian or racist can start suggesting that other people in a country are not quite like the rest of us or sowing seeds of poison is to start suggesting that because of their colour or a national background that be their parents, they're fundamentally disloyal. Now, we have a wonderful historian who loves using this gambit. And I'm going to share two videos by him showing how when you use this gambit, you should be very careful it doesn't come back to spring on you as it has here for him. But let's have a look at him first. Today, he started off on the Chagos Islands. And I'm not particularly so interested in them, although I would note that he would be much better advised to put some context behind that and tell us why the Chagos Islands had no people on them and how they were ripped out. But listen to this final bit of his conversation and say, oh, yeah, he's Pakistani, like me. In the case of our present Foreign Secretary, David Lammy, he was born in London in 1972. And so... In Holloway, to be exact. ...is by the reckoning of left-wingers and liberals as British as any of us. We'll get back to that hole in the, in the reckoning of left-winger liberals and where Webb virtually strangulates himself. He hangs himself so high high on his own rope on that one. He hangs himself on his own petard in another much earlier video he did earlier this year. Except, of course, that he holds dual nationality. So what, Webb? So do a large number of people in the in the British government. People don't elsewhere, and it's a debated point, but you're trying to suggest and, and stick a knife in the man's back. That is to say he is a citizen of Guyana as well as the United Kingdom. This suggests to some of us that there is a certain ambivalence about his identity as a British person. This is not perhaps an advantage in a foreign secretary. David Lammy... Let's keep going for another few moments, and I'm going to swap to an earlier video by Webb. And once we're talking about ambivalences in national identity, we'll see Webb talk about a particular group in Israeli history. He talks a great deal about his ancestry, and one gets the impression that his identity aligns more with the people of Guyana than it does with those in Britain. We'll stop there. Talking about your ancestry, talking about other countries, let's have a listen to this. This was, Webb made this eight months ago for the uh, patri uh, due to the trial of Sam Melia. Listen to what he has to say in the last 50, or so, well, last 39 seconds or so. People case. A quick look through my own bookshelf would cause many people to reel back in shock. I mean, to give one example, I'm a fervent supporter of the Urgun, a resistance group in enemy-occupied Israel. Enemy-occupied Israel. Who was occupying Israel at this point, Webb? Please tell us. I think most people will know who it was. Or if they're not, and they're not particularly strong on Middle Eastern history, they could go and look it up. You're an ardent su a supporter of the Urgun, Webb. That's a group that killed hundreds of British soldiers. Now, for, uh, plus point for coming out and saying it no, saying it directly. But then today, when you do a video slating David Lammy for having mixed loyalties, you do tend to look a bit fucking stupid, to be quite frank. Unfortunately, most of the uh, people on your channel don't seem to be able to remember uh, the letter A and letter B in the right order. And they basically, well, quite excuse me for the extremely rude comparison they'd virtually suck you off no matter what you said so long as they could type blacks get them out deport 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 and rubbish like that because they consider that the height of political intelligence and commentary but the next time you start uh, questioning people's loyalties be aware even if you try and remove this video it's been downloaded and archived have a good day now